Hey, Perez the Dev. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how I passed the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam all in three days. Now, I want to break this video up into two parts. One, taking a look at how I was able to go ahead and do it. That way, you guys get a better understanding of how you can do it for completely free resources. You just pay for the actual uh, exam fee. As well as the second part, taking a look at what you need to know in order to either pass the exam or just build your fundamental AWS understanding. And by the way, if you don't want to stay for the second part, because it is a, a, quite a mouthful, I'm going to make sure to go ahead and leave a breakdown down in the description below so you can go ahead and look up each of the individual services. And not to mention with AWS, they provide one year of free services, like free tier services, all for one year, completely free. So you can actually play with those different individual services if you don't even want to do the actual course itself. So let's get to it. I want to keep this video short and sweet. So how did I do it? Well, it all started with a coworker. He told me about a site called Cyberry, cyberry.it. Again, I'll leave it down below. Cyberry.it is focused on courses and resources for cybersecurity professionals. But I looked through it anyways, and I saw that they have a they had an AWS certified cloud practitioner course. I'm just, we're just gonna call it cloud practitioner. I saw that they had the cloud practitioner cert or exam course there. I went ahead and decided, well, maybe I'll go ahead and sign up. And when I went to look into signing up, I saw that they have a free three day trial. And when I saw that and realized that the actual course I want to take was only four hours long, I figured, why not? Let me go ahead and sign up. So later that day, I went ahead, signed up, studied for two hours, taking the actual course, trying to understand the fundamentals, Googling different concepts. Second day, did the same thing, studied for two hours, finished the course, looked up different concepts that I was still sort of struggling with, signed up for an account, of course played around with the different services, and then actually signed up for the exam. Then the third day that morning, I saw that Cyberry.it, they even have a cloud practitioner practice exam. So I actually ended up taking a practice exam the morning before my actual exam, reviewed my concepts, reviewed the concepts and you know different questions that I actually got wrong, looked them up, was better able to piece together the fundamentals of AWS, took my exam and actually passed. So, and that was all completely free, the, the course and the actual practice exam. I just paid the hundred dollars for the actual exam itself. So those other sources on cyber.it were completely free because I took advantage of the three day free trial. So again, I'll make sure to leave a description down below. I would say wait for like a long weekend when you have a three or even four day weekend, who knows, and you can go ahead and just focus on doing that. And yeah, or hell, you can even finish it out in one day if you want to sit through four hours. But that's kind of tough. But either way, I really think with the cloud practitioner exam, you could really sit through that course just over a weekend and get it done. So now taking a look at what you really need to know for the exam itself, you want to go ahead and know about AWS Global Infrastructure, really taking a look at availability zones or AZs. You want to know uh, regions as well as edge locations and sort of what they are. Now with AWS, they have many different services and they have uh, 25 different uh, group services sort of grouped together, all each containing individual services, but 25 key ones. I broke those down into seven that you really are going to want to go ahead and wrap your head around and understand. There's, again, many other services, but these are the seven that I really thought would provide as much value to you for really understanding the fundamentals of AWS and what it is and how to use it and manage your resources. So taking a look, we have AWS cost management. So you want to go ahead and understand AWS budgets and AWS cost explorer, how to really build a budget. What's the big thing that's that limits a lot of projects? Well, money, right? The budget that's set for that project. So know how to create a budget and uh, set up a budget. So that's within AWS cost management. The second service you want to know is AWS security. Uh, mainly Identity Access Management, or IAM. IAM is one of those key concepts you really want to know, so really dive into the documentation and dive around, play with it, understand what IAM is. From there, you want to know uh, WAF or WAFs, Web Application Firewall, as well as AWS Shield, just know what they are. And then you also want to take a look at ACLs or Access Control Lists, as well as security groups. From there, that was AWS Security, taking a look at AWS Storage, you want to know S3s, understand the different S3 storage classes, as well as EBS or Elastic Block Storage and EFS, Elastic File Storage. For AWS, the storage, you mainly really want to know S3. I think out of all these different services, the three you really want to know are uh, EC2s, you really want to know S3s, and you really want to know IAM. Those are like the three you like, that's like the C. Then from, from there, you know, we have the actual fundamental foundation. So you really want to go ahead and understand S3s, uh, S3 storage classes, 
and then under just no EBS and EFS or elastic file storage. From there, uh, for AWS databases, you want to know relational databases, how they work, as well as any non-relational databases, mainly DynamoDB. Uh, you want to understand the concept of read replicas, how to use them, how to back up your data, as well as uh, OLTP and OLAP. So OLTP is online transaction processing, whereas OLAP is online analytical processing. So you want to understand the difference between the two. As well as uh, for AWS database, understand Elastic Cache and how to really cache, you know, within AWS. And speaking of caching, look, taking a look at AWS networking within that service, you want to know uh, AWS CloudFront and how that works to go ahead and cache your memory. Uh, also within AWS networking, understand Route 53 and how that works, VPC and API gateways. Those are four really fundamental ones. Honestly, personally, I think those for me were like the hardest to understand. Maybe I just need to brush up on my networking, but those like API gateway and VPC were like, uh, I, I would say more challenging contents for me. Anyways, with next service you want to take a look at is AWS management and governance, uh, mainly taking a look at and diving into CloudWatch and CloudTrail. Really know those two the foundation as well as know how to use it. And then you want to understand a little bit about cloud formation and AWS auto scale and just know what they are. Uh, then taking a look at our last service, AWS Compute, you really want to know EC2s, Lambdas, as well as Elastic Beanstalk, how to, you know, uh, spin up an EC2 instance and AMIs and different things like that. No Lambdas and no Elastic Beanstalk. Um, so those are really the main seven key uh, AWS grouped services that you really want to know. Now, if I had to pick only a few out of this long list, and again, I'll make sure to leave a breakdown down below. You really want to know EC2s, you really want to know S3s, and you really want to know and understand IAMs or Identity Access Management. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to keep this video a bit shorter. I know a lot of the other videos are like 10, 20 minutes long, so let's try to keep this video a bit shorter. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for tuning in.